So I'm a medical geneticist and my focus recently has been on the incredible area of sequencing apparently healthy newborn babies. And this is a critical step in gene and cell therapy because if you can identify the babies who appear to be healthy but do not yet have a devastating genetic condition and you could treat them early, you could actually make a difference in saving those babies. So that's why I'm here and speaking today on, on, on newborn sequencing. It's important to constantly innovate in healthcare because there's so much science going on in the world. There's so much discovery. There's so much investment. So we have to keep moving faster and faster and faster and, and use new tools. Use tools like artificial intelligence. Use tools like deep learning because we can't even keep up with all of the journal articles that are relevant to our own subspecialty. So innovation is obviously a uh, part of the key here. You know, like most scientists, I spend almost all my time either talking to patients or talking to team members or talking to other scientists. So a meeting like this is incredibly useful in order to hear different perspectives. Perspectives from pharma, perspectives from biotech, perspectives from investors who, are, who have their fingers on the pulse of investment in the biotech world, um, and even hospital administrators who are really trying to lead our patient services into the next decade. So I, I love coming to meetings like this and just hearing all the different points of views. What did I like best? Well, it's been an incredible meeting. I've really loved the opportunity to speak about our work in newborn sequencing to the doctor is in session. We got great questions and conversations there. But even in between the sessions, I've had the chance to rub elbows with administrators, pharma scientists, innovators, investors. And that's the kind of give and take that I just don't get very often. So just the conversations has been my favorite part.